Hello, this Take 5 is going to focus on showing you how to customize the dashboard area and put some text and perhaps an image of some kind. That way when your students enter your online class and you happen to be using the home page dashboard, there will be also some directions that you can put, uh, perhaps a welcome, you might be able to put an image, some people have put a survey poll or a little video clip right there so students can see that. Not only can they see the notification dashboard, but there will be something that they will be able to read to direct them perhaps to another area in your classroom. To do this, you're going to go over here to this drop down menu. We usually call it the Chevron. Click on that, and you're going to go to Page Banner. If you go to Page Banner, this is the area that you can customize, and it will show right above the notification dashboard. Notice that right now there's some text that comes as a default because we've named this area dashboard dash home page but you can change that so let's just say I want to type in welcome to my class and of course you'd be putting your class name there and I have the text box editor so I can center this I can also make this text larger so I'm just going to put a little bit of information. Um, I think it's very helpful to students if you um, give them some direction on where to start. So I'm going to just type some information about start by clicking on the start here first menu button to the left. That way students will not only see a welcome but they'll also see some directions on where to start. Again, we have found this is very important. If you're going to be using the notification dashboard as your point of entry, it's important for students when they click into your classroom to give them some direction. Otherwise they see the modules, the to-do modules, the calendar, the alerts, and they're not sure what to do next. Now, because you have the text box editor, you could also put a nice little image. So I'm just going to remind you about attach image means you can go out to your desktop, to your jump drive, and you can browse to attach an image. Now, if you already have it in your course, you can go and click on the Browse button. That will take you to the File Manager. And then you also have the source URL that you could actually link it within a, a URL address. I think it's better to use an image that you're going to actually going to be locating either on your jump drive that's already in the file manager or somewhere on your desktop. Images that I would like to use and I have located an image I'd like to use communication tools and I'm going to select it and I'm going to click on open and notice the dialog box appears and this is important it's going to give the name of the file or the link the alt tag this is important to define what the image is because sometimes we have students that use assistive technology such as the screen readers it will need to be described to them what the picture is so this I can describe as people using communication tools. And then you can scroll down a little bit. You do not want to launch it in a new window. And you can set the width or height. I would recommend doing that outside of the program so you can actually um, edit the image proportionately. You can crop. You can do some of those things. And there's some easy um, photo editors I can talk about in another Take 5. So I'm going to click on Submit. It gives you a chance to take a look at the image before you submit to bring it in to the text box editor. And notice it's now there in the text box editor. And I can scroll down and I can actually center 
this text if I want. And again, it's very important to give your students some direction on what to do. And then once I'm done and I've completed that, I can scroll down and I can click on Submit. And notice now that has appeared in my page banner. And below it is my notification dashboard. So let me show you what that's going to look like to students. It's not going to be quite as gray. It's going to look a little bit better. And welcome to my class. It's going to be important as your students enter your classroom that they see something to direct them on what to do and where to go first. So hopefully that's helped.